Hey, this is a quick video about how to get your door to close when it's not latching properly. So the first thing I want to show you is this line right here. So that line is a little bit off. And this is actually closing, but I've done this on many other doors where the where this is off. This door, this is a new install, so I just wanted to show you the trick. So that line's a little bit off. I'm just going to show you how we're going to move it. So when this, when your door is sagging, and the door is sagging just a little bit, and these, either one of these won't close, what we're going to do is, is we're going to set a screw up in the top of the hinge here, and the screw head needs to be the same size as this screw. And we're going to take these one of these short instead of putting these short screws in. We're going to put in a nice long GRK screw that will suck the door back. When it sucks the door back, it's going to kick it up a little bit and that way the door will close if it's not closing. So here we go. So I've already set this several times, so you're not going to see a big effect. But in the past, I've done it many other times with doors that were way farther out than that. You can put in two screws if you need to suck it in farther. Now, if you come and look at that, is it higher? <laughs> it's raised up. <laughs> so it didn't raise up all the way to center, but that's we don't need it perfect. There is play for the uh, for the door to close. So it closes enough so that it's got plenty of room, top and bottom. So that's a quick trick that'll just help you. If your door is sagging, stick, always use the inside screw holes. Don't use these outside screw holes, use the inside screw holes. And if you can't, if you need to, you might need to just taper it in just a hair to get to the framing. And that'll suck it back. So that's a quick trick to get your door to close when your door is sagging. Hope that's helpful. Hit the like button if you got value out of that. Have a great day.